guys, I'm Claire and today I'm going to show you how to make a heart cake for Mother's Day. So keep watching and I'll show you basically how to do it. Okay, so now what I've got here is basically I've got a sheet cake. This is just vanilla sheet cake that I baked last night in preparation for today. Um, so I've also got a heart car. And um, basically what I've done here is just pushed it into the top. Now this cutter is obviously thinner than the cake. There's about it's about half of the wood, uh, half of the depth of the cake. So it's too small to just push it through because it wouldn't maybe wouldn't make the shape right. So what I've done is just pushed it in, laid it out, and just pushed it slightly into the cake to get an indentation of where I want to cut the hearts from. And then all I'm going to do, I'll just put this in here, now all I'm going to do is take a sharp knife and I'm just going to run my knife around the edge of the cutter, just to cut out the cake, to cut out the heart correctly. And if I, if I do it inside the cutter, it will give me a uniform shape. I'm just going to pull this out and cut my second one because I need two pieces to sandwich them together. Okay. Again, I'm just going to run my hand, run my knife around the outside. And this cake is just a simple sponge cake. Um, so it's really easy to make, if you know how to make any sponge mix then it will work fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is hopefully be able to just push out or even just pull apart. these. This part of the sponge can be used, this part's still intact. These edges will be slightly pulled out. So what um, you can do is use this for making truffles or something um, or cake, anything you need cake crumbs for. Okay, so these are actually quite hard, um, quite thick so you could probably actually do um, just cut these in half with a serrated knife and actually do two cakes. I don't think they'd be as thick so I might actually just make two. Okay, so um, I'll tidy this away and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so first of all, I've put my heart onto the turntable. Um, this has just been cut out of a sheet cake using a heart cutter. And then just used a serrated knife to cut across the middle and it gives me two hearts. So all I'm going to do is use chocolate spread and I'm going to put the chocolate spread into, as it use it as a filling for the cake. All I'm going to do is just spread this over the heart. This is just hazelnut chocolate spread, so you can use obviously whatever you want in the centre of your cakes. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit more on this side, just a quick thin coating onto the other side too. You could use chocolate ganache, jam, butter, peanut butter, and um, butter icing, frosting, whatever. Um, okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just going to put them back together. And I'm using frosting to frost them. And so I'm going to take a tray, baking tray, clean baking tray, put up my board, uh, a cooling mat, this one I've got, you've got to be able to get this underneath, a tree underneath it. Okay, I'm just going to place my heart above the baking tray. And to frost it, I'm using rich and creamy icing chocolate fudge um, frosting from Betty Crocker. And I've just heated it in the half a pot in the microwave for about 30 seconds. And all I'm going to do is just pour this over the top. You will need to put quite a thick dollop on there 
um, and make sure it's evenly covered so it'll get all the way around. Um, that's why the turntable is quite good because you can kind of turn it and see where where you've kind of missed a little bit here or there. Gonna put a little bit extra on there. Okay, I'll sort that in a wee second. I need to put a little bit more at this side. Okay, and it just drips down, and the excess soil goes into the tray. I'm just gonna use this to like put little bits, fill little bits in here and there, around the edges. Got a little bit there that he's filled in. A little bit here. And a little bit here. And this gives nice even glazing if you fill it quite, um, if you put a really thick coating on the top. So I'm just going to let the excess drip. You can collect this and put what's in the tray, you can collect it and put it back into the tub in the refrigerator and you can use it for whatever else you want to use it for. Um, so all I'm going to do is let this cool um, and I'll be back to you. Bye. Hi guys, sorry I forgot to turn the camera on when I was piping um, to show you guys. Plus I've been kind of busy. Um, so I thought I would turn it on anyway and show you what I've done. Um, so all I did was I used a some um, chocolate spread which is inside it and I mixed that a couple two teaspoons of that with two teaspoons of the frosting that we used to glaze and I also put about a table about um, a, a level tablespoon of white just white plain white writing icing which is used for different cakes I mixed that all up in a piping bag and then just piped it onto the cake. Um, so all I did was piped, don't know where you can see, around the bottom, around here, and then I just piped around the top, around in a heart. And then all I'm doing is using my, um, I'm just using this, um, it's a pokey tool kind of thing for, for cake decorating and um, I'm just using it to flatten some nice and down to make a pattern. I'll try and show you guys. As you can see it's along here, put it here. So all I'm doing I'll try and zoom out so you can see a little so you can see it all. Sorry I'm getting used to this here. So all I'm doing is just kind of leaving a gap and then just pressing down on the inner line because there's two lines around the outside. And then I'll just start at the bottom. And then just indent into there. And then what I'm going to do is go around the outside of the board and take a dent in, in between all the others. Just to give it a really, just a nice design to it. to give it a design um, with the difference. I don't know if you're getting to see all this, sorry. Okay. So it basically looks like this. Um, <clears throat> and then I just put little dots around the outside of the um, board. And I was just going to flatten these. And I was actually going to make these like look like little flowers. I don't know, I might still do that. Or I might just put a quick dot in the centre of each of those with using the white icing 
this pillow. Dot. What I'll do is take it off with this because this is quite thick. You can thin this down using um you can thin this down using hot water in a jug. I'm just gonna push that into there. It's got a kind of ladybird look to it. You can see. Okay, so I've just went ahead and put those dots on the cake and as you can see, um, the cake is finished. Um, this one's chocolate fudge cake with a hazelnut chocolate spread filling decorated with um, chocolate fudge and hazelnut filling um, uh, frosting as well and uh, chocolate fudge glaze. So it looks like that. And this one's for my friend, Stephanie. And I also did one earlier as well. Um, for my grandmother. Which it looks like was the mate. Looks like this. So it's Nan and then it says Happy Mother's Day and a little flower on there. Um, because my mum's going to visit her. So she's taking this cake with her. She leaves tomorrow. So the cake actually looks like this. Um, and this is um, vanilla, uh, vanilla cake with uh, jam and buttercream filling and a vanilla frosting glaze and vanilla icing. Um, and then the vanilla frosting glaze is, has been dyed in pink using some red food colouring. Obviously the frosting was white to start off with. So, um, that dyed that pink and I dipped that and then just decorated with some white frosting and some candy pens to write Nan on it and then also the candy pens were used for the writing on the board. So, um, that's basically all of my cake sorted. Okay, so that's it for today. Basically, just showing you how to make um, the cakes, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. And please do comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys.